Muhammad Ajmal Amir Kasab versus the state of Maharashtra. So let's the backdrop of the story is he along with nine other. That means there were total ten terrorists who reached from Pakistan. They traveled in a small little boat to Arabian Sea, and they even on reaching Mumbai, like before reaching Mumbai, the owner of the boat was killed. and the killing was done by amir kasab only he had slaughtered him you know uska gale par uske churi chalai thi usne and uh, after reaching mumbai it, it was the case which which in which he had killed many many people and he made hostages he was into a terrorist proper terrorist act so the points are that he was working under lashkar e taiba he was trained in pakistan and he reached mumbai with lethal weapons he had ak47 grenades then there were other pistols also recovered from him and it was on 26th november that the terrorist attack happened and it lasted for 4 days 29th november the black cat commandos were able to kill all of them and this ajmal kasab he was caught by the police and was uh, and he was under custody so mohammad ajmal uh, ajmal amir kasab he, he confessed certain things once he was caught so their prime aim his target was to attack the indians and especially the foreign tourists and they could have chosen any other place but they chose mumbai because it's the heart of the financial heart of the city of the country now mumbai is, is the financial backbone and here it, the the space was chosen primarily because it's a very uh, flashy city and it would be in the news for a longer time people will come to know in a blink of an eye so for these reasons the city was chosen then to make the hostages they had to um, bring the government for negotiation they they wanted to take these hostages especially the foreign foreigners so that the, not only the tourism in india would suffer but also they had a aim of making a negotiation with the government and for that matter if if you all remember you maybe you were too young at that time the certain thing happened the same thing happened in uh, the kandahar case do you have any slightest idea what we, what i am talking about any idea what is this kandahar case okay one nahi hai chalo batati hu ek flight take off ki and in that there were two or three terrorists and it took a fl- this flight had more of the indian citizens and then it landed uh, after a much trouble because the fuel was ending so kandahar gum is in afghanistan there they landed it was an emergency landing and the hostages were used as uh, vic- uh, as victims and to to be negotiated with the government and in those nego- negotiations the terrorists demanded the freedom of various terrorists in india who were in jail and uh, i am forgetting the name of one prominent uh, i am forgetting that person's name while telling you the story i remembered and now so uh, negotiation karke us particular terrorist ko afzal guru afzal guru he was the one उसको छुड़ाया था इन लोगों ने कंधार वाले केस में ठीक है एंड जस्ट फॉर योर नॉलेज एक बार प्लीज इसे क्रॉस चेक कर लेना कंधार केस में द टेररिस्ट हु वाज रिलीज्ड बाय द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एट दैट टाइम ठीक है तो दे वांटेड द सेम काइंड ऑफ अ केस नाउ आल्सो बट वो हुआ नहीं इंडियन टूरिज्म के लिए वो सेट बैक चाहते थे इंडियन करेंसी को एक जो इनफ्लो हो रहा था फॉरेनर्स का करेंसी का फॉरेन करेंसी का इनफ्लो था उसको हिंडर करना चाहते थे एंड इन दिस होल थिंग दे किल्ड नियरली 166 पीपल 166 पीपल डाइड इन दिस दे लॉस्ट देयर लाइव्स 
and 238 were injured and nearly 150 crore prop was the property the amount in which the property was damaged itne ki property damage hui thi 150 crore ki so the confession made by him was that he hijacked a boat he killed the owner of the boat and nine people along with him moved on to the various places in mumbai they divided themselves and tried to attack various points and maze ki baat ye thi jo jo taxis unhone hire ki thi un un mein bhi unhone bomb laga diya tha jo ki ek alag alag dishaon mein gayi aur wo wahan pe jab bomb blast hue to the police got you know in a state of frenzy they thought ki ye alag alag jagahon par bomb implant kiye gaye and the police got bifurcated and finally they reached the various points which they had already decided unhone puri reki ki hui thi mumbai ke various jagahon ki so he was charged with section 120b jisme ki indulging in terrorist activities tha he was fighting with the indian government the, so he had the allegation of 121 and 302 then unlawful acti- activities अनलॉफुल असेंबली इस तहत उसको सेक्शन 16 की धारा में गिरफ्तार किया गया था देन द ट्रायल स्टार्टेड नाउ इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी आर डीलिंग विद आर्टिकल 20 एंड क्लॉजेस 1 2 3 ठीक है सो व्हेन द ट्रायल ऑफ अजमल आमिर का साहब स्टार्टेड इट इज स्टार्टेड ऑन 3 जून 2010 एंड इट वाज इन द एडिशनल सेशन जज he sat and he decided after looking into the matter everything was done and then at the additional ju- session judge he he never, he doesn't have the right to give this uh, death penalty he, but he gave that death, death penalty and so it was revoked by ab jab additional judge ke yahan par ye ho raha hai ki usko death penalty di gayi hai so the co- the case was taken to the high court and the case was taken on 21st february 2011 so high court had given this date that on this day he should be hanged but then it was for further just because he could, this could have raised certain sections emotions so it was taken to the supreme court for higher hearings and then the three prime judges jinhone ye case ke liye जिसे कहते हैं कि इन्होंने अपना वर्डिक्ट पास किया द थ्री वर आफ्ताब आलम अल्तमश कबीर एंड यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड द थर्ड नेम चंद्र मौली प्रसाद सुने ना सो दीज वर द थ्री प्राइम जजेस जिन्होंने इस केस के पूरी एनालिसिस की एंड देन दे पास अ वर्डिक्ट it was aftab alam who said that since these 166 people who were killed out of these 166 nearly 66 or 60 people to 70 people were killed by Aj- uh, amir ajmal amir kasab and his friend ismail so and these people had no personal grudge with this man neither he knew them so this was a a simple cold blooded murder which he had done then the judge also said that it is a very rare case because earlier these kind of cases were hardly seen so he even mentioned this in his verdict that uh, this case is very rarest of the rare cases to be heard in india and then do kasab he was at the time when he was convicted when he was going through the proceedings he, he was um, he was quite young he was his age was quite less yet he was he had no repentance of his crime done whatsoever so for this since he was a brutal murderer he had committed this crime uh, heartlessly so even aftab alam who was out of the three the one who was writing the verdict gave him death penalty and it was in december 2012 when he was in a jail 
इन पुणे यू आर आर लिविंग यहाँ की कौन सी सबसे प्रोमिनेंट जेल है मैं नाम भूल गई हूँ देर इवन संजय दत्त वॉज प्लेस्ड क्या नाम है उस जेल का पता है तुम लोगों को अरे चलो मैं भी नाम भूल गई हूँ आई लेट यू नो इन माई I'll let I'll leave a WhatsApp message to you all. So it was in Pune Jail that the death penalty was given, and in December twelve two thousand twelve, and he was hanged. Okay. So 